Navigating the world of dietary supplements can be a daunting task, especially for those managing diabetes. With a plethora of products marketed for their supposed benefits in regulating blood sugar levels and improving overall health, it can be challenging to discern which ones are truly beneficial and which might actually cause harm. In this video, we'll explore the top worst supplements that are popular among diabetics, backed by scientific studies. Stick around until the end because the last one might surprise you and is one you definitely need to be aware of. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Let's start with bitter melon. This supplement has garnered attention due to its potential to lower blood sugar levels. Bitter melon contains compounds that mimic insulin and help reduce blood sugar levels. However, the effectiveness of bitter melon is highly inconsistent, and it can sometimes cause more harm than good. Some studies have shown that while bitter melon can lower blood sugar, it can also lead to hypoglycemia, particularly when taken with other diabetes medications. A study published in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology found that the hypoglycemic effects of bitter melon were highly variable and could lead to dangerously low blood sugar levels. Additionally, other studies have reported gastrointestinal issues such as diarrhea and abdominal pain. Because of these risks, bitter melon may not be the best choice for diabetics seeking to stabilize their blood sugar levels. Next on the list is aloe vera. Known for its soothing properties when applied to the skin, aloe vera is also marketed for its potential to manage blood sugar levels. Some studies suggest aloe vera can help lower blood sugar, but the evidence is not strong enough to recommend its use for diabetes management. A review in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacy and Therapeutics highlighted that while aloe vera has the potential to lower blood glucose, the results are highly inconsistent. Moreover, there are concerns about the purity and safety of aloe vera supplements, as some products may contain contaminants or be adulterated. Aloe vera can also cause gastrointestinal issues like nausea and cramping. Given the mixed evidence and potential side effects, diabetics should approach aloe vera with caution. Another supplement that's popular among diabetics is ginseng. Known for its supposed energy-boosting and immune-enhancing properties, ginseng is widely used across various cultures. Some research suggests ginseng can lower blood sugar levels, but the results are inconsistent. A study published in Diabetes Care found that while ginseng supplementation led to some reductions in blood sugar levels, the results were not significant enough to recommend its use as a treatment. Additionally, ginseng can interact with diabetes medications, increasing the risk of hypoglycemia. Side effects such as insomnia, headaches, and digestive problems are also common. Due to these risks and the inconsistent results, ginseng is not recommended for diabetics seeking reliable blood sugar control. St. John's wort is another supplement that can be problematic for diabetics. Popular for its antidepressant effects, St. John's wort is often used to manage mental health issues. While mental health is crucial for overall well-being, St. John's wort can interfere with the metabolism of many medications, including those used to manage diabetes. This supplement induces certain liver enzymes that can decrease the effectiveness of diabetes medications, leading to poor blood sugar control. A study in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacology found that St. John's wort significantly altered the metabolism of numerous drugs, including those for diabetes, potentially leading to dangerous fluctuations in blood sugar levels. Additionally, St. John's wort can cause side effects such as dizziness, dry mouth, and gastrointestinal symptoms, which can complicate diabetes management. Therefore, it's best to avoid St. John's wort if you have diabetes. Now, let's delve into chromium. Often touted for its role in carbohydrate and lipid metabolism, chromium is a popular supplement among diabetics. Some studies suggest that chromium can improve blood sugar control by enhancing insulin activity. However, the evidence supporting its benefits is mixed. 
A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that while chromium supplementation did lead to some improvements in insulin sensitivity, the results were not consistent enough to recommend its use. Moreover, high doses of chromium can lead to adverse effects, such as gastrointestinal discomfort and potential kidney and liver damage. Due to the inconsistent evidence and potential risks, chromium may not be the best choice for those managing diabetes. Another supplement commonly used by diabetics is niacin, also known as vitamin B3. Niacin is often recommended to manage cholesterol levels as it can increase HDL or good cholesterol and lower triglycerides. However, niacin can significantly impact blood sugar levels. High doses of niacin can cause insulin resistance, leading to higher blood sugar levels. A study published in the American Journal of Medicine found that niacin therapy, while beneficial for cholesterol management, significantly increased blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. This effect can counteract the benefits of diabetes medications and lead to poor glycemic control. Additionally, niacin can cause flushing, liver toxicity, and gastrointestinal issues. Given the potential for increased blood sugar levels and other adverse effects, niacin should be avoided by those managing diabetes. Alpha-lipoic acid, or ALA, is another supplement often used by diabetics for its antioxidant properties. While ALA can help reduce oxidative stress and improve nerve function, its effects on blood sugar levels are inconsistent. Some studies suggest that ALA can lower blood sugar, but others have found no significant effect. Moreover, high doses of ALA can cause gastrointestinal issues such as nausea and vomiting. A study published in Diabetes Care found that while ALA supplementation did improve symptoms of diabetic neuropathy, it had minimal impact on blood sugar control. Given the mixed evidence and potential side effects, ALA may not be the best choice for those looking to manage their blood sugar levels effectively. Garlic is another supplement that is popular among diabetics for its potential cardiovascular benefits. Some studies suggest that garlic can help lower blood pressure and improve cholesterol levels. However, the evidence supporting its effects on blood sugar levels is inconsistent. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacy and Therapeutics found that, while garlic supplementation did lead to some improvements in blood sugar control, the results were not significant enough to recommend its use. Additionally, garlic can cause gastrointestinal issues, such as bloating and gas, and can interact with blood-thinning medications, increasing the risk of bleeding. Given the inconsistent evidence and potential side effects, garlic may not be the best choice for diabetics seeking to manage their blood sugar levels. Lastly, we come to fish oil, a supplement rich in omega-3 fatty acids that is often recommended for its cardiovascular benefits. While fish oil can help reduce inflammation and improve heart health, its effects on blood sugar levels are not well established. Some studies suggest that fish oil can improve insulin sensitivity, but others have found no significant effect. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that, while fish oil supplementation did improve triglyceride levels, it had a minimal impact on blood sugar control. Moreover, high doses of fish oil can cause gastrointestinal issues such as nausea and diarrhea. Given the mixed evidence and potential side effects, fish oil may not be the best choice for those managing diabetes. In conclusion, while many supplements are marketed as beneficial for diabetics, it's crucial to be cautious and well-informed. Bitter melon, aloe vera, ginseng, St. John's wort, chromium, niacin, alpha-lipoic acid, garlic, and fish oil are among the worst supplements for diabetics due to their potential to cause harmful side effects and interfere with blood sugar control. Each of these supplements has been studied, and the evidence consistently shows that their risks often outweigh their benefits for individuals with diabetes. Always consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement to ensure it's safe and appropriate for your specific health needs. By being aware of these problematic supplements, you can make better choices and maintain better control over your diabetes, ensuring a healthier and safer approach to managing your condition.
Remember, managing diabetes effectively is not just about adding supplements to your regimen, but about making informed and balanced decisions that support your overall health.